Welcome to another exciting tutorial. Today we are going to make something like this. An animated character dancing on water. Creating splashes of water. For this animation we are going to get the animated character from a website called Mixamo. It provides you with free animated characters for your animation or games and it belongs to Adobe. So you can browse characters. I will just use the default character provided here and then from characters I will go to animations animations tab and I will look for dance category and inside dance category I will search for spin I want to use northern soul spin combo so I will just click on this and it will be applied to my character and this animation is 265 frames long I'm quite happy with this animation so I will download this file and it will download FPX binary file with skin 30 frames and keyframe reduction none. So I will download now. So it's preparing the file for download and you can see the file has been downloaded here. Now I can jump to blender. Inside Blender, you can import the file by going to File menu and import an FPX file. And you can import your FPX file downloaded from Examo website Northern Soul Spin Combo.fpx import. And you can see this is your character. If you go to Outliner on the right side, you can see that it's called Armature. And if you expand this, you have two body parts. One is called Beta Joints and one is called Beta Surface. This one and this one. I would like to join both of them as one body part. So I will select Beta Joints and Beta Surface and I will click Control J for joining and now we can see this is all one body part I will rename it to body because we are going to use this part for our flip fluid animation select all of your character including the armature and scale it bigger than um, its size something like eight times bigger than its original size so press S and press 8 on the keyboard so now this character is eight times bigger than its original size now add a cube and scale this cube 20 times bigger than its original size so press S and press 20 and press enter by pressing 1 on the numerical keypad and going to shading viewport mode uh, I can move this cube upward so it's just going to touch the feet of the animated character now duplicate this cube by pressing shift D and scale it down on Z axis by pressing S and Z something like this and bring it down 
so it also touches the feet of the character and the character is little bit inside the water maybe scale it little bit up scale Z something like this so we can see we have this cube uh, which will act as a domain and this will act as a fluid if you want you can reduce the size of this cube from the top but for me it's all right and now i will go to physics properties and I will select the first cube. I will rename it to cube dash domain and this second cube as a cube dash fluid. So I will select this cube dash domain which is this bigger cube and I will apply flip fluid and I will select the type domain here you have to save the file so please save your file this is a good practice because if blender crashes you are going to lose your work select the second cube which is cube dash fluid and apply flip fluid and make it a fluid object select the body of your character body and apply flip fluid and make it an obstacle one important setting which should be activated here is this one export animated mesh without this it may not work so it's important that you activate this setting here let's select the cube dash domain and change some settings here i will change the resolution to around 100 i will go to flip fluid white water enable white water it will create foam bubble spray and i also want dust minimize it go to flip fluid display settings and enable stable rendering and go to white water display settings display settings mode form bubble spray dust and particle object setting mode form bubble spray dust you can leave the particle sizes as they are if you are not happy with uh, the these sizes of the particles later on you can come back here and you can change them increase or decrease them later on go to flip fluids material and for fluid surface select water clear for form you can select the ff form for bubbles you can select bubbles for spray you can select spray and for dust you can create another material or normally what i do is i also apply the bubble material to the dust minimize it you can now bake your test simulation to see if it's working or not first it's going to export the animated data and then it will start baking the fluid so now it's baking the fluid you can see baking in progress 
and here flip fluid uh, objects have been created this is the fluid surface these are the particles bubble dust form and spray so if we go to our timeline playhead I can play the playhead and I can see fluid has been generated properly along with the particles I will bake it to frame 50 and I will stop it because it's my test baking so let me stop it and let me check if the fluid is working properly let me hide the particles and check if fluid is all right but the fluid particles are a little bit uh, thicker you can see it's too uh, thick normally the fluid is thinner one setting i want to change is i select this cube dash domain again and i go to flip fluid settings i would like to uh, change the flip fluid surface particle scale from 1 to 0.5 and now i can do my final baking you can keep it something like uh, 150 to 300 i will just keep it at 200 i will reset the bake reset bake and i will bake it again So let it bake for some time, then we will talk about the render settings. Okay, let's stop the baking at frame 75 and we can check if our fluid has been generated or not. So play the timeline playhead and we can see the fluid is much thicker than before and it looks nice. So I will move the playhead around frame number 60 and now we are going to talk about how to render this scene. So you can go to render settings and your render engine should be cycles. In the render area, uh, select denoise. You can keep any maximum number of samples. Uh, go to the world settings and here in color area you can click and select environment texture we are going to light our scene with an hdri i have an hdri image from a free website you will find a list of some free hdri websites uh, in the description of this video so i will add environment texture and I will open a free HDRI and I will go to ray visibility and I will deselect the camera visibility because I just want the light from the HDRI and I don't want to show it inside my scene and if I go to render viewport shading I can hide the cube dash domain inside the viewport because I don't need to see it. I can also hide cube dash fluid because cube these both cubes are not not going to be rendered anyway. 
and we can see that our scene has been lighted properly with the help of that HDRI and now I will do our test render but before doing a render we need to see where our camera is looking at and our camera is looking here this is not right so I want to convert this view into camera view so I will use a shortcut Control alt 0 on the numerical keypad and now my camera is looking at the same view I can select the camera and adjust it a little bit so x0 90 0 and with the help of y axis I think I can bring camera a little bit nearer to the objects and I don't need the lights so I can just turn off the light or even I can delete the light and now I can do my render render image at the end you can render the whole animation but I'm just going to render one image so we can see our image has been rendered with a lot of fluid and particles and splashes in case you have more splashes you can reduce the size of your animated character a little bit if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment area and I will definitely answer your questions and thank you for watching this tutorial see you next time